here is she is a wonderful motivator. She's also an educator. I've seen her be able to coach and to talk and to motivate and to educate people in a way that is fun, it is uplifting, and, and they get it. So I'd like for you to listen to this very powerful, very on-purpose woman, and here she is. I believe you can fly. I believe you can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Spread your wings and fly away. Cause I believe you can soar. I see you running through the open doors. Cause I believe you can fly. I believe you can fly. I believe you can fly. OBB graduates, it is definitely indeed an honor, a pleasure to be here and have the opportunity to just speak to you for a short moment. Because I do understand that I am the person standing between you and those wonderful uh, laptops over there. <laughs> so, as my bishop would say, I'm not going to be up here, I'm not going to be before you long. I'm going to be like Elizabeth Taylor, how she told some of her husbands. I'm going to be like a short mini skirt, short enough to keep you interested, but to get the point across. <laughs> so, I want to start off by talk, by giving you this quote. And I, I wanted to pick some, it was, it was funny, I was able to pick somebody that I know you all can relate to. Success is about dedication. You may not be where you want to be, or where you want to, or be doing what you want to do when you're on your journey. But you've got to be willing to have vision and foresight that leads you to an incredible end. That was by none other than Usher. Everyone is dealt a hand of adversity challenges, valley experiences in their life. That's the part of living. No one's journey is easy, nor is it meant to be. For it's the journey and how one handle those sour moments of life and transform it into moments of greatness, learned experiences, and a time to teach others to not just focus on the destination, but to build a treasure chest of nuggets. A treasure chest of nuggets that you would develop from every curve, from every dip, from every stopping place, every closed door, and every sharp turn that you will face in life. Use it as a moment to build stronger character that will take you from this place that we call success to another level of place of significance. That's what I want to encourage you all to do. You have it inside of you to do that. This is what this is what has brought me to the place that I am today. Because believe it or not, I didn't realize it when Audrey sent me the note and called me to ask me to speak to you all today. Today is actually a monumental moment for me in my life. Because you see, three years ago to this day, to this exact day, I was given my pink slip in my corporate job. I was laid out. That was the last day I have worked in corporate America. Three years ago today. <laughs> I am now living my bold vision. But the journey has not been easy. So let me just tell you a little bit. I can't say that I had a terrible childhood. I can't say that I uh, encountered some of the struggles that you have encountered. 
I, I was blessed to have a, 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 a mother and a stepfather who loved me, who worked hard for me. So I really didn't understand what struggle was all about. But as the old folks would say, just keep living. <laughs> just keep living. Those things will eventually change. Life would be boring if we always had it well. If we didn't have struggles, we wouldn't be able to be the people that we are today. But it changed. Back in 2009, I received my first pink slip from a job. I was like, wow, this is the first time in my life in over 16 years I have never worked. I got laid off from my job. I'm like, hey, I'm smart. I'm educated. Besides the fact I'm beautiful, but I'm smart and educated. I have two degrees. Why can't I get a job? What's going on? I was late, I was unemployed for 18 months. 18 months, it was at the start of when the housing market began to collapse, the job market had began to collapse, and everything had began to shift. And that's when my life began to change. So one of the things, as Brother uh, Dietrich, 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 I, I'm so glad you used that analogy earlier because when he talked about the, the process of a pregnant woman, it's funny how life shift, I mean life changes causes you to shift so that you can be in position to birth your vision. Well, that was just the beginning of the shift that I had to go through. It was the beginning of my journey. And at that particular moment, I had to figure out what it was I wanted to do with my life. I had many goals, many visions and aspirations, but it was not until that moment where I was forced out of the boat to figure out, okay, what is it that I want to do? Because being unemployed for 18 months is not a fun thing, but it, it wasn't as bad of a position as I thought it would be. I got the opportunity to publish my first book during that time. I published my book, became a best-selling author, and was able to begin the journey of fulfilling the purpose that I had inside of me, working with young people just like you. Well, I was able to go back to work after being off for 18 months. It's something about them 18s, because I went back to work for 18 months before I got that second notice. So I was laid off twice within three years. But that second layoff, it wasn't like the first one. I didn't have that little cushion severance package and that nice savings I was sitting on. Life had changed for me. Life had really changed. I went from having two houses to not having a house to call my own. But the thing about growing up and becoming a leader and being able to go through those birthing contractions so you can birth that vision, you have to keep breathing through the process and you have to stick to it because life is going to give you changes. So I know as an adult, I mean, as a, a young student, when I was your age, I remember saying to my mama, well, not necessarily to my mama, I said it behind her back, I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I can't wait till I become grown and on my own and I get to do what I wanna do. Now, I'm sure all of the adults in the room can attest that now that we're adults, we're like, whoo, we sure wish we could be a child again. <laughs> so be careful what you ask for. When you become an adult, it does not exempt you from problems. It does not exempt you from challenges. But the character of a man is measured by how many times you get up, not by how many times you fall down. So every time you fall down, I want you to remember those seven rules of the road and get back up again. So it's not about you falling, it's all about you continuing to get back up again and try again. So don't let anybody keep you down, keep, keep going. Because as Sam stated in his book, life is not fair, but nothing good comes from sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. God has granted us the power to create our own destiny. So everything you need, young men and women, is already inside of you. And going through the ODB program, I hope that you have already tapped into that golden nugget that's inside of you. Because you are destined for greatness. You are destined to do great things. 
you just have to keep moving and keep going and continue to breathe through those challenging moments. Today is your graduation from the ODB program. This is a pivotal moment for your future. Some of you have already graduated from high school. Some of you are anticipating graduation. I want you to keep the seven rules of the road close to your heart because those are principles that will carry you a lot further in life than anything you may have ever encountered. Because whenever you feel those contractions, go back to the seven rules of the road, especially your bold vision. What is it that I want to do? I listen to your presentations. Go back to that bold vision. Focus on that bold vision. Let that continue to be your driving force to where you want to, to continue to do what you want to do so you can get to your dreams. Let this moment be your launch pad. Let this moment spring you forth into that place that you were destined to become. So as you reflect on those seven uh, rules of the road, I want to share with you eight nuggets that helped me to get from that place of those struggling moments when I didn't know how I was going to pay bills, how I was going to put food on the table, to where I am now, living out my bold vision.